Yo, what up guys, Firebrenner here, and I'm back here again today with another tutorial for you guys. Uh, the support you guys have been showing on the last few tutorials have been amazing, and I'm really glad that you guys have been enjoying it, it's been helping you guys out. Um, so, but today we're going to be going over how to do double touches, or how to get consistent at them, and I'm going to basically be breaking it down for you guys step by step. Um, in my opinion, double touches are actually really underrated for how hard they are to be super consistent with them. Because you need to practice them a lot to, to be really good at them. And there's a ton of variation for how you might get an opportunity to, one, to get one in-game. Especially nowadays, because more and more people are defending the backboard. Not like how it used to be. But anyways, in this video, I'm going to be going over how to do... I'm going to go over two different types of uh, double touches. First, the off the wall into a double touch. And then the second one is just to do a normal aerial double touch when the ball's coming at you. But yeah, let's just get right into it. All right, so first thing we're going to go over is we're going to be going over the off the wall into a double touch first. Uh, so if you guys watched my last video, I went over how to air dribble. Um, and there's certain things from that that go into play here. So the first thing that's important with the off the wall into double touch is the setup. That's actually really important. So first things first, you want to take the ball, roll it up against the wall, make sure it's flat across the ground so it sticks on the wall. It sticks on the wall like that. And now when you pop the ball out, preferably, you don't want to jump off with the ball. You don't want to do this, right? You don't want to do that because you're going to make it way harder for yourself. So what you want to do, you can roll up the wall. You want to pop it out and then jump off the, the wall like that, right? I'm not trying to do a double touch. I'm just showing you guys a setup first, right? So let it roll up against the wall, pop it out, jump off. And then hit the ball, right? Okay, so now obviously I'm hitting it towards net. I'm not trying to hit the backboard, but so now I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when you're actually trying to do the double touch. So now you guys know how to do that. You wanna pop it off, pop it off the wall, keep it close to yourself, front flip to the backboard, and then follow it up. So I kind of messed that one up. Let me do another one for you guys. Okay. Flip. And then preferably that would have went in, but you guys kind of get the idea, right? So one thing I should note while you while you guys are seeing this, um, you don't want to really hit the ball too hard. That's what I think was a mistake from a lot of people, right, with the setup when you're doing the off the wall uh, to double touch. You don't want to blast it. You want to just tap it like that and then create separation for yourself for the double touch. See, that's another really big point I should have brought up as well. So you see, I pop it off to myself and I create that that separation with the flip. If I hit it too hard to myself, so keep it on the wall, pop it out. If I just blast it like that, see, it's really hard for me to follow that, follow that up because my car is going too fast and it can't really like recover and make up that, that lost ground. So off the wall, hit it kind of soft. And now I have separation and I have time to read the backboard read. So it's all about... Popping off the wall, jumping off, light touch, light hit towards the backboard, and then you follow it up for the double touch. So one more time. Off the wall, pop out. Hit to myself. Easy double touch. So you don't always have to flip into it. Sometimes you can do what I just did there. You kind of do a variation to like an air dribble into a double touch like that. Just a heavy touch. And you're able to follow it up. So there's a lot you can do with that. I preferably like to do the off the wall, like if you're doing an off the wall, I like to flip into the ball because it's harder for the opponent to read, especially if they're not on the backboard already. Sometimes if you do an air dribble into a double touch, it gives the defender time to like get up into the backboard, from my experience at least. So to myself, bam, and then to a double touch. So I'm so fortunate I like suck at these. I usually don't really go for these. I usually just air dribble off the wall, but you guys kind of get the idea. Okay, so now that we went over the off the wall into a double touch first, now we're going to go into the aerial double touches, which is my opinion is way better. And you're going to find yourself with way more opportunities if you do these instead. With off the wall ones, okay, in my opinion, if I'm being honest, I don't really enjoy doing them because they're kind of readable and they take a lot to set up. Meanwhile, these, it's a bit like if you're going off the wall, in my opinion, it's better to just do an air dribble or you go flip reset or something like that. It's not really ideal to go for the double touch. If it's a, if the backboard is open, you go for it, obviously. But now these, this is where the real double touches are, in my opinion, right? Okay, so I'm going to leave this code up for you guys. This is the air backboard double touches. This I use this training pack to learn it when I first started to learn how to do double taps. It's super effective. It's really good. There's a bunch of variations in this. But yeah, let's get into it. All right, so let's, let me do this one first. All right, 
So one main thing I've, I've seen that people make, like a big mistake people make with double touches is that this will happen to their car, right? I think everyone can relate, right? If you're on this video, this will happen, right? You hit the ball, you're going into it, you're trying to line it up, and then you hit the ball and your car kind of like freaks out, right? You're never in line with the ball. When it, meanwhile, if you watch like Justin, Squishy, uh, any like nuts player, they always like are able to keep the ball like, or their car like straight onto the ball. Like not even like that, right? You still, it's bouncing out. Now the, the issue is here, right? What I'm doing here, if you're noticing, I'm not doing something that probably a lot of people, you guys don't know that's actually essential for aerial double touch, and that's holding air roll. Um, I personally have normal air roll bound. It helps me out with this. Now, you can get away with using air roll right and air roll left for this. It just makes it a little bit harder, right? But so for, I'm going to get to that later. But first off, let's just, I'm going to just show you guys the difference. What happens when you use air roll? Now, when I say I'm using air roll, I'm not even necessarily having to like move my analog stick left or right in either direction while I use air roll. I can literally just do this, hold air roll like that. And now what it does is it cancels like all the recoil on the car. So if you real if you notice what I did here, I literally just went perfectly in line with the ball after I hit it and went off the backboard. And I was able to read that super easily solely because I, I held air roll. So holding air roll just cancels all, all like of the recoil on the car and you're able to really follow the um the ball's line of trajectory pretty pretty much so now for you guys that only have arrow left and right bound um you can still get away with this it's really just a matter of that you're air rolling one way or the other right so you can it's the same thing as if i'm doing normal roll like this right just turning my car into it it's really the same thing it's just harder to do that first touch with arrow right and left because from my experience, sometimes it'll get away from you. Like this, right? I can still get to it, it's just way harder. Like that, and I have to rear roll back towards it, and then get it on target. So that's why I always, on my initial touch, I'll always just normal air roll into the ball. Because it's way easier for my car to line up with it. Like this. Yeah, you can literally do this for literally anything for when the ball's coming at you. As long as you're holding air roll, your ball or the car should stay in line with the ball and it shouldn't bounce out of the way. Um, once again here though, you want to make sure that you create that spacing between you and the ball. You don't want to be hitting the ball too hard like this. Right, let me do a realistic one like that, right? Yes, it's scorable, but it's just really hard to do, right? Especially when you're starting to learn Try not to do this too fast because it's going to be harder for you to learn out the gate. So when you're starting out, just go into it, air roll off the backboard, create that separation and read the backboard read. Something else I like to do though, when the ball is really high up above the goal and I need to get it straight down really quickly, I'll end up hitting with the wheels of my car just like that. And you saw how that almost went in because the ball would just instantly die essentially and head straight down towards the net. Uh, you can do this as well with the belly of the car, but if you really have that tough angle, I would suggest hitting with the wheels of it instead because you're like guaranteed for it to just go straight down like that. Another thing though, that sometimes will happen when you're trying to create that separation, say you're too close. If you notice what I did there, I'll boost away from the ball to create that separation. So I didn't I don't have to do it here. Let me try to do another one like this i boost back a bit and i hit it with my belly to hit it straight down so there's a lot of things little tiny things that you have to keep in mind when you're trying to adjust uh for the backboard read so you want to boost away hit it with my belly or my wheels and then just go straight down so there's a lot of little tiny things really just the main things are you want to hold air roll no matter what whether it's air roll right normal air roll to get that initial touch into the ball and then after you hit the ball you want to create that separation and then after you create that separation you want to be able to read the backward read and the best way to do that like i said always try to count for the ball dipping a bit after it hits the backboard it's always going to dip no matter what no matter how hard you hit it there's going to be variations though like the lighter you hit it the more it's going to dip so like that it's not going to dip as much but if i hit it harder like this right it's not gonna dip nearly as much. See, it didn't really come off the backboard that that heavy. 
So there's a lot of variations to this. It'll it will take practice. This is definitely a really hard mechanic to get to like get down pat and really master. But the more and more you practice it, the better and better you'll get at it. I hope this video helped you guys though. Um, be sure to leave a like if it did. Subscribe if you guys are new. I'm putting out tutorials. Trying to do like two a week, one, one a week if possible. Um, let me know in the comments what else you guys would want to see from me. What other tutorials you would want me to make. And other than that, boys, I think I'm done, done here. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out, boys.